talking about ecosystem of agents, we are very excited about OpenAI's uh, Codex agent that was just launched on Friday. Uh, and I'm thrilled to have Sam Altman join us uh, virtually. Welcome, Sam, to Build. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Hey. You know, one of the things I know you've thought a lot about, uh, you know, all these various form factors that developers use for software engineering. Of course, you did the CLI, and now, yes, uh, you know, last week you did uh, the coding agent. You want to talk a little bit, Sam, as sort of the vision you have for how software engineering evolves and actually how developers will use all these various form factors together. Yeah, so Satya, you, you and I have been talking about this for a long time. In fact, the very first version of Codex, I think it was all the way back to 2021, one of the That's very first things we, we did together uh, in GitHub. And we've been talking about how someday we'd get to like uh, a real agentic coding experience. And it's, it's kind of wild to me that it's, it's finally here. I think this is one of the biggest changes to programming that I've ever seen. But this idea that you now have a, a real virtual teammate that you can assign work to, that you can say, hey, go off and do some of the stuff you were just doing and increasingly more advanced things, you know, at some point say like, I got a big idea, go off and work for a couple of days and do it. And that you can issue many requests in parallel, that you can be fixing bugs, implementing new features, answering questions about the code. Um, this is like true software engineering task delegation. Uh, and I think it'll only get better from here, but but this is just a tremendously exciting moment. It integrates very deeply with GitHub. You can give it access to a repo and an environment, and you can get some pretty amazing stuff done. Yeah, no, it's really exciting to see that. And it's also sort of great to have developers stay in the flow, work with essentially peer programmers, uh, you know, these agents as well as other you know, people that we collaborate with, and just have the developer process, process itself and the life cycle get faster. You know, obviously, you also are working on a lot of models and are very sort of fantastic. In fact, we've had a chance to sort of sim ship a lot of the models you guys yeah. have built. Uh, just talk, tell us a little bit about what's sort of coming as far as the model roadmap itself. The, the models are already very smart. They will continue to get smarter, too. But I think one of the most exciting things is the models will get simpler to use. You won't have so many to pick from. It'll just sort of automatically do the right thing. They'll get much more reliable. You'll be able to trust them for much more. There'll be a lot more features like multimodality and great tool use and integration. Um, it'll be closer to the, it just works. You know, it can, I can talk to it. I can do a complicated coding agentic thing. Um, I can rely on it. And uh, I think people are going to be surprised at how much how fast we're going to make progress in those directions now. Yeah, I know we're very excited about your model roadmap. And obviously, you know, when you look at ChatGPT, it's the most at scale, stateful, agentic app today that you guys built. Um, and of course, Codex is another sort of agent app that you build. And this conference is all about unpacking so that every developer can, in some sense, build these new agentic apps you know, that use the model, use, do their own model scaffolding, go on to even do multi-agent orchestration and so on. You know, any advice you have as people build out these high-scale production, stateful agentic apps, Sam, based on obviously what you guys have been doing and leading? I, I, I think one of the hardest, most difficult things to manage about this is just the, the rate of change. You know, if you think about what was possible two years ago or one year ago or now and uh, what will be possible in another year or two years, sort of planning for this incredible increase in model power and how how people are going to build products and software and companies in in the kind of near future and really leaning into the new tools and the, the sort of new workflows that are possible. Um, Again, we haven't seen many technological shifts like this in history, but every time one has come, like leaning in early and hard has been very rewarded. No, it's, yeah. yeah, and that's absolutely well said, because at some level, one of the things we want to really unpack at this conference is what's that app server that allows you to take the latest new sample that comes uh, and keep moving at that pace? Because I think that's the challenge we have uh, as developers building these applications. But it's fantastic. It, again, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, it was amazing to watch over the last few months as we were working on Codex internally. You know, there are always a few people that are the early adopters and how quickly the people who were just using Codex all day changed their workflow and just the incredible amount they were able to do relative to someone else was, was quite interesting. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.